Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are bringing you a list of five bourbons that we will be drinking during spring 2022. It is now officially springtime. Things are starting to warm up in here and that means we need to change up our drinking habits. During the winter, I like to go a little bit darker, a little bit like more intense, higher proof, a little bit more aggression, but I can't keep that up year round. Once it starts getting lighter, brighter, a little bit hotter outside, I can't drink super high proof, heavy, dark bourbons all the time. So with the temperatures outside changing, the general vibe of outside changing, we're changing up our drinking habits. So during springtime, I like to go with something a little bit more like lighter, maybe a little bit more floral, a little bit sweeter, fruitier, and less proof. So today I'll be bringing you guys a list of the five bourbons that I'll be drinking during the springtime. And to kick off that list, I'm gonna start it with none other than my beloved Makers 46. This bottle is the perfect bottle for springtime to me because this is so it's light it's bright it's easy it's like a strawberry shortcake in a bottle a little bit of like a buttercream frosting in there but it's just so nice it's like a light cake lots of fruit and just vanilla and cream and with it becoming kind of like lighter outside brighter outside it's nice to sit outside this is the exact embodiment of that in a whiskey for me so this will be definitely one of the bottles I'm drinking during the springtime because of that. Followed by another one that's also kind of in that same realm, but a little bit different side of that same realm is Four Roses Single Barrel. This is a really, really great pick for springtime because it's a hundred proof. It's very floral and herbaceous, but not like overly like harsh and spicy herbaceous it's like a nice light bright kind of floral a little bit of like a citrus and fruit going on in there and it's it's a hundred proof so it's like easy nice to sip when it's a, starting to get a little bit hotter outside and another nice thing about this is the fact that it's just like it's like 40 dollars, so it's a really really good bourbon for 40 dollars, 100 proof with that nice light citrus flavor profile it's gonna go really really well during the springtime Another bottle that I'll be getting into during the springtime is going to be Bullet Bourbon Tenure. This stuff, 90% sure it's sourced from Four Roses, so it's kind of like the same, just general vibe. It's very light citrus, a little bit of like an herbaceous, kind of like minty floral note going on in there. Tenure age statement brings a little bit more of like a darker, nuttier oak. So it's a little bit darker, but again, it's also 91.2 proof compared to that 100 proof. So this is a nice like during the day sipper when it's at like the peak of the heat and you're just looking for something to just sit back, enjoy the day with and just drink. That's not gonna be overly viscous, overly harsh. It's just gonna be a nice crushable spring sipper. That's, that's its new nickname. Nice crushable spring sipper, bullet tenure. And I absolutely love this. This is, that was, Bullet Tenure was probably one of the first bourbons that I tried that like really, really made me enjoy like tearing apart a whiskey. I mean, that was like one of the first 10 bottles I bought. So, cause I, I started off being like a super heavy bullet drinker. And then I was like, oh, well let's just buy Bullet 10. Cause that's what I knew. And it didn't let me down. I really thoroughly enjoy that bourbon still. And then now kind of moving away from just that normal typical bourbon profile we're getting into something that's a little bit more well lighter bourbon profile we're getting into something a little bit darker more aggressive cash drink this is for the end of the night in spring where it's starting to get a little cold again it's it's getting a little chilly you got a little breeze but it's still springtime so you're still kind of feeling a light sweeter flavor profile and i'm gonna go with Bell Mead Reserve Bourbon. This stuff is blended MGP that I absolutely love. This stuff is really, really good. It's 
very sweet, very fruit forward, just very like, mm, it's so, it's so, so good. Sweet, fruity, a little bit of like a brightiness and like kind of like spiciness in there because well, you're, you're naturally just gonna get that in a higher proof bourbon. But this stuff is 108.3 proof. So even with it being high proof, barrel proof type stuff, it's not overly high in proof and it's still just that very like sweet fruitiness. And that's a nice like whiskey bourbon to kind of end the night with a little bit. And for the final one, I did not see this being on this list at all, but then I tried it and this is probably my favorite springtime pick and that is doc swinson's alter ego straight bourbon whiskey finished in sherry and cognac casks this is springtime in a bottle it is so good it's light sweet mgp whiskey but then it's also finished in sherry and cognac casks that turn this from like a just like simple like kind of basic mgp bourbon kind of like this is this is your basic cash strength mgp it's like 55 60 bucks it, it's good it's good cash strength mgp this stuff is like that a little bit lower proof because this stuff is 95.8 proof but it's finished in so much stuff sherry and cognac that it brings out so it's an explosion of fruit this is fruit punch hawaiian punch tropical fruits like dark red fruits. This is all the fruits blended up. This is a fruit smoothie of every fruit you can think of that would go together in a fruit smoothie, blended together, put in a whiskey. This stuff is fantastic and it is gonna work so well during the springtime. I think all these are fantastic springtime whiskeys. My two favorite are probably gonna be the Bellmead and the Doc Swinson's just because the fruitiness in them. Um, but I also, those are my two favorite out of this list too. So it is what it is. And to kind of recap, the five bourbons that I'll be crushing or drinking during the springtime are gonna be Bullet Tenure, Four Roses, Single Barrel, Makers 46, Bellmead Reserve Bourbon, their high proof stuff, and then Doc Swinson's Alter Ego, the amazing Finnish MGP whiskey that is Doc Swinson's. Cause honestly, they do really good job blending and finishing all that bourbon over in Doc Swinson's and I'm, I'm actually a pretty big fan of that bottle, I'm not gonna lie. I just wish it was cheaper. I'm just cheap, that's on me. But that's a wrap for this video. If you liked this video, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys thought about my list. Let me know what your list of bourbons you're gonna be drinking during the springtime are gonna be. Also, check out the Instagram, Facebook, and the Patreon, the link for that is down there below. We appreciate y'all so much for your support. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.